out there. Well done, Winslet. I told you. Do a Holocaust movie. The awards come, didn't I? <laughs> See? <clears throat> Trouble is with Holocaust films, there's never any gag reel on the DVDs. I don't know. There isn't. It's, uh... Now, don't do it. It'll be fine. Don't. <laughs> How are you? Nice to have you here. Oh, it's great to be here. Yeah. Not nice new studio. This is new. This is yeah. a new experience, yes. Yeah, it's great to... Giant moon, big fake moon behind you. Actually, the uh, studio was easier to find than the channel on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> But are you into Harry? I think because he's British, like yeah. a superstar, you'd be into him. But you're, are you into Harry? Well, uh, yeah, he's fine. But why do you think? Because he's British, I'm into him. Kind of. We, we've got as many idiots as you. <laughs> I, I don't have to be into everyone British, do I? You're it's, so macho, aren't you? I know, I know. It's a You're so shirt. tough. I'm glad you've got your shirt on. <laughs> you always have to show a bit of that, don't you? No, no, no. It's I'm... for the menopause of women. No. Goes, oh, look, he's taking his shirt. He walked through the restaurant the other week no. carrying a stag. Who do you think you are? Four. <laughs> hold on, hold on. And I was going to come out dressed as Adolf Hitler. Right. <laughs> no, wait, right. And I was going to come out that way. I was just doing that, waving to them, right? And then get to the podium and let it die down and go, too much? <laughs> right? And then I wanted to look in the crowd and go, it's the wrong crowd, it's just the wrong crowd. <laughs> and then I was going to say, that's the last time I borrow a suit from Mel Gibson. <laughs> and I went out and said, I've got no Will Smith material. And they got a big laugh just because they were thinking it. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that's my show. I wasn't there, right? And I said, um, people on Twitter, where it was trending, people were saying, oh, what, what would have happened if Ricky had been hosting it? And, mm -hmm. I, and I said, nothing, because I wouldn't have made a joke about his wife's hair. I'd have made a joke about a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I haven't offended anyone. I didn't mean, it's not my fault. There's a lot of powerful people here, so if I said, it's... <laughs> Honestly, I like a drink as much as the next man. <laughs> Unless the next man is Mel Gibson. <laughs> this new thing in England is celebrities having depression. Oh, I feel all depressed. It's always, it's always overprivileged performers that have these bouts of depression. You don't have blue collar workers, you know, working class mums with six children having, I feel a bit depressed, do you? Get the kids to school, oh yeah, you know. I just think of these guys on minimum wage reading articles about going, oh look at this, this poor millionaire comedian, he feels all alienated. I wish there's something I could do, but I lost my fingers. Uh, now, it strikes me that in, in the beginning of your career, you must have had so much pressure to go down the kind of handsome leading man route. And yeah. was, it, was it hard to kind of resist that? <laughs> you, you, you answer. <laughs> Mel Gibson, come on. No, come on. I'm not gonna have a go at him. He's been through a lot. <laughs> not as much as the Jews. You should do one with talk show hosts. Yeah, I, I was thinking that um, just the just the cream. Me, Leno, obviously, brilliant. Um, <laughs> David Letterman and John Stewart. It's like, it's just... And Larry... then what if you expanded it and got even more people in there? You could probably La Larry, get Sa it. Larry Sanders. Okay, Larry Sanders is fictional. So <laughs> I'm I'm right. Get up! <laughs> Come on! If you do win an award tonight. Don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your God, and... So... The next presenter is an award-winning actress with special powers. In Die Another Day, she used her powers of seduction to win over James Bond. In X-Men, she used her powers to control the elements. In Catwoman, she used the power of being able to wash herself all over. And <laughs> she's the paw for behind the ear. It's brilliant. Please welcome the very clean Halle Berry. All female remakes are the big thing. There's a female remake of Ghostbusters. There's going to be a female remake of Ocean's Eleven. And this is brilliant for the studios, because they get guaranteed box office results, and they don't have to spend too much money on the cast. So... 
Shut up, I don't care. The first is an actor, producer, writer and director whose movies have grossed over three and a half billion dollars at the box office. He's won two Academy Awards and three Golden Globes for his powerful and varied performances starring in such films as Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Apollo 13 and Saving Private Ryan. The other is Tim Allen. <laughs> the door I then took my hand and all is fine. I was here so bad for love but you gave me smiles. You didn't walk away, you stayed for life, for life. Ricky Gervais couldn't be here tonight, so instead we're going to give this to our friend Steve Carell. Look at his stupid face. <laughs> couldn't actually win one of his own, so he stole someone else's. A few years ago, on this show, I made a joke about Mal Gibson getting a bit drunk and saying a few unsavoury things. We've all done it. I wasn't judging him, but now I find myself in the awkward position of having to introduce him again. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure it's embarrassing for both of us, OK? And I blame NBC for this terrible situation. Mal blames... We know who Mal blames. Listen, I still feel a bit bad for it, right? Mel's forgotten all about it, apparently. That's what drinking does. No. I want to say something nice about Mel before he comes out. Um, so... Oh, yeah, OK, here you go. I'd rather have a drink with him in his hotel room tonight than with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Please welcome Mel Gibson. Yeah. I love seeing Ricky once every three years because it reminds me to get a colonoscopy. <laughs> oh. Where is he? Oh, there in the front row. Just... <laughs> Just in case you have to make a dash for it. <laughs> have you got it on you? I've heard you carry it around with you to get in restaurants and stuff. I made you what? Don't look at me. I'm gone off road. Everyone's getting nervous now. There's nothing on the auto queue. I could do anything. This is live. <laughs> I made you what you are, and I get nothing back. <laughs> Have you even been to see Ghost Town yet? No. <laughs> I sat through Heaven Almighty. Give me my Emmy. <laughs> Give me my Emmy. I'll come down there. <laughs> Give me it. <laughs> I'll tickle you. I don't care. I've got nothing to lose here. I'm a nobody here. Where is it? <laughs> yes, you have. Stop. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Give me it. Give me the Emmy. <laughs> Give me the Emmy. Give me the Emmy. Give me it. Give me the... Thank you. <laughs> right. Good. That's settled.